Hi guys and welcome along to another episode here on Goldcrest Valley and straight in front of us you can see that I screwed up. <laughs> that is the Fen still seeding that field. I forgot about him. Totally forgot about him. I can't remember what happened after that particular episode but I forgot to carry on. And more to the point I forgot to put him on hard work so he finished the damn field. So he's actually currently working on cosplay. Because hired worker decided it wanted to finish in the middle of the field. <laughs> but and I don't have the fast track though, currently on field 19 working the plough, and he is on hired worker. And he's doing a better job than what Cosplay was doing, because Cosplay couldn't handle the edge of the field. It was it's the turning lock of the fast track that screwed it. It's not the best. But that means we get to go and play with this and that. And I'm not sure if it can even handle it. Carriage is straight in there, yeah, we need to be in the shop. Du -du 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 -du. Sewing machines, where are you? There we go. All the way to the end, you are 120 HP. Ooh. 130. Ha <laughs> ha! We've got this. Maybe. Uh, I'm thinking about dropping the fork, so. Ooh, that's busy. We have some Clash of Clans goodies. I'm playing that at the minute, it's actually quite a lot of fun. I've no idea how the hell I'd share it to put it on YouTube. Recording the phone is something I have no clue what I do. But yeah, I, I've joined a clan, we've had a couple of war days. It's fun. Is it having a lot of fun? Come on, let's get this right. This is important to get right. <laughs> do not want to screw this up. Close enough. Uh -oh. Had to cough. <laughs> right, I can move the joystick out of the way now because we're back on the mouse. <sighs> Ooh, I hope we can pick that back up. It will suck if I get that wrong. Just down there, does that way? Nothing. Good. Should have really got on with unloading that trailer, but I can honestly see that not getting done till the weekend. <laughs> Real time. That is New Year's weekend. That'll be getting done. <laughs> this is where I went out. We are currently Friday the 23rd? Yeah, it's Friday the 23rd. 20 past 1 in the morning. Be exact. I'm staying up all night because I'm going on nights in real life. But we're wide awake, we're having fun, we're playing farm soon. It's awesome. It'll be even more awesome if this works. Right, we've got it, we've got a full load of grass. Do not change the seed for God's sake. Uh, ideally, put it in forwards as well, that'll help. Right, we'll keep the flashy lights on until we get where we need to be. It looked like that straw blower had flipped over then. <laughs> I'm on with the cows were at 99, no, 76. Ah! Yeah, productivity on the pigs has died because we've run out of corn. Now, I could go and buy the pig food. There's fast track after working away. It would be awesome if the uh, AI did that. You know, as the field's changed now and it looks cool. It seems like the world is being worked. It would be so sweet if you start practicing. It really would. That would be amazing. There is a mod out there which puts the trains on all the time. I can't remember if I installed it or not. Which is why I'm going slow, just in case. Do not want to get hit by the train. That would suck epically. <laughs> right then, now, this is going to be a GPS jobby. We did the Ridge Americas last time. It was fun, it was good. Let's not screw it up again. Uh, no, that, that, there we go, that's what I'm after. Work with automatic, move it over a smidgen. Yeah, right, we're good. So I'll roll back us. Don't kill the sign. Again. Somebody always puts them back up though, have you noticed? 
<laughs> uh, bless them. They do a good job for us. Right then. So, power this bad boy up. Oh, look at the three pointers. That's a swing and a miss. <laughs> oh well, it'd be right. She's down. Oh, you, oh, you've already activated. That's why it's falling out on me. Right then, let's get some grass put down. I'd say this has got it under control. Better than what the fence had. Which leads me to believe that the settings aren't quite right on that fence. Maybe it's lowering it too much and it's lifting the back wheels off. I mean, we're not even a four wheel drive here. Oh, what, 70? At least 70 brake horse less than what the Fent had. Unless it was a four wheel drive car doing this year. Could be. Could be. I might say David Orford up in the top left instead of uh, this guy. Hmm. Oh, there's my brick. There's my brick. Oh, wow. Just how much is that front lifted? You know what I can do as well? I can make a trigger now. So I can add weights and remove weights from the front of this thing. Yes! Now, we'll add a bit more. <laughs> it's not when it's on the ground, I suppose. I do not want this tractor wheeling. Is that true? Yeah, we're missing the tree. Good, good. I'm not going to hit the tree either. Creep into position. Lower her down. Put on the cruise and enjoy another pass. Ah. There's me. There we go. That's, that's the downside about the head tracking. Because when I go for the keyboard, I look at the keyboard, which means you guys are looking. Let us see. My ass print. <laughs> Oh well, we can't have it all. And apparently when I look at a cup of tea we have a good look at the controls. Just think back to 13 and the insides of the cabs on those. And then come here and look at this. Such an improvement. Why is that in the corner there? Is that the fridge in this thing? Oh, what's going on? Oh, I should just be slow. Break the GPS. So I don't want to hit that sign. I do need to finish the field. Edge. There we go. Right. I have been told about people who do the headlands first so they do drive over the seeded part and they have no issues it's actually their method of farming so I'm not too worried at the moment about driving over a little bit and it's a grass field and grass is pretty damn hardcore anyway we're in business there we go Sorry about that, this is Wednesday's episode. Oh. Well, these are the jobs we need to get out of the way before we can go play with the forestry. So tomorrow, we're taking the truck down to the shop. We're going to have a word with the bank and we're going to see about getting some serious equipment. We're probably going to need to hire the low load as well because we actually have to get it to the forestry area. Of which I haven't decided which forestry areas to attack either because there's a few on the map. And I don't want all these trees taken down. 
but now I don't know adds a little bit to the area doesn't it so I might leave these up I believe that verge can survive <laughs> so now anyway to hit all these achievements we might be on this map for year two year three we could be here a while we'll see um, creep farms. There we go. She's up. So there's this verge here, which is huge, but I don't trust what's underneath it. After the incident with the other film we had. I think we're going to leave it alone. And we're back. You've not missed much, guys. He's excited for the arc update. <laughs> I can't blame him. It's looking good. For anybody who's in a position to actually use the tech gear anyway. Is there anybody just starting out on ARC? It's going to suck real bad. <laughs> You're going to get owned by the Alpha Tribes. It's I think the preview for it showed a Rex with their tech armor on it destroying Gigas. Now if you play ARC, you'll know how... You know how amazing that is have a Rex destroy a Giga. If you don't play that, you won't give a rat's ass. And here's a bit of a swing from Farm Sim to Ark. <laughs> a hell of a swing to be honest. But when the guys first started playing it I was not interested in it at all. I used to take uh, the piss, shall we say. <laughs> Quite mercilessly. And then I started playing it and I Probably sunk more hours into it now than most of the rest of the team. I can look on the, the Steam friends window at the minute, and the people who are up are playing Euro Truck, Space Engineers, Garage Mod, and snoozing. <laughs> no arc, no farms in either. Traitors. But everybody seems to be enjoying Farm Sim a lot more than what they did with 15. So, as testers and modders, it's a lot of the lads picked up on a lot more of the faults and they couldn't get over them. It's going from FS13 and MR and what we had going at the end, it was a real kick in the family jewels for a lot of the guys. And they struggled to enjoy 15, they really did. Me, I just loved it. <laughs> but ever since I started playing this game, when I first got it, I did a rage quit back in 13 because I did not understand what the hell I was doing. And it was it's a, the houseman actually, he bought it for me. He said, hey, check this out, go for a giggle. And I ended up playing a lot of single player, and then I started with a modding, and I just got more and more into it. Really fell in love with the game, the genre even. Not really look back. Farm Sim is my bread and butter on YouTube, and I won't be leaving it. Well, Farm Sim itself, the game, may take a big hit when Cattle and Crops comes out because of the way I like to play. We shall see. If it's like when you get a new phone, I suppose. And you never pick your old phone up again because the new one is so much better. Or you give it away like I do. It's uh, my dad's birthday present every time I get a new phone. He gets the old one. But yeah, you, you don't go back. And that could be the way it is with cattle and crops. Because if it is what it's looking like it possibly will be, and it is that good to play and that immersive, it's going to be really hard to pull myself out of that and come back to farm sim. I mean, I'm really, really enjoying this at the minute. And you do. When I was playing 13, I really, really enjoyed it. But when I got 15, and going back sucked. And then we got 17, and going back to 15 sucks. Yeah, it is what you make of it, I suppose. But it's it's hard to go back when you've had a taste of something new, 
because obviously the next stage it's all been built on and improved. Yeah. It's hard work to go back and get the same enjoyment out of it that you did at the time. Like my phone at the minute now, it's HTC smartphone, it's the M9. At the time it was the daddy, it's already been super seen now. I think they've uh, got an M10 out of whatever the hell it is. Probably my next phone anyway. <laughs> if they don't bring another one out after that. I like HTC because it's got the big speakers on it. It's louder than all the other phones, which comes in real handy in noisy environments. Which is pretty much my life. <laughs> With Annabelle and everything else. <laughs> Yeah, the first phone I ever had was an Alcatel. And the screen I think had two lines. And you had the little battery symbol at the top and your signal and to go back to that now from using this, it's wow. I mean, that's an extreme example, but it's along the same lines of going back's hard. And when we get cattle and crops which is not too far away, it's March, April time is going to be the early access. We're going to get a taste of what it can be. I mean, from then, we've got till the end of the year before we get the full game. We'll have an example, we'll know what we're up against then. Can farm sim compete? Is it going to be as enjoyable once that comes out? I mean, we do have all the tractors and such like in this game that are not going to be in cattle and crops because they're new, they don't have the money for the licenses. But if you can mod in Blender, and it's easier. <laughs> we'll see. It's all speculation until it drops. We've got nothing. Until it lands. We can't say anything about it. It could be horrendous. It could be. I'm willing to put money on it won't be. But it could be. <laughs> but we're going to find out. And not too long to go. 17 could be a really good year. 2017. I'm hopeful. I really am. I think Ark is speculated to go for the full release as well, so we should get some polishing and optimization done on that. Should do. We can but hope. The devs haven't abandoned it yet anyway, which is awesome. Master Nair should get a nice boost too. There's a, minute, um, there's a little bit more I've got to do on it. And it involves researching, I'm going to have to travel to other planets to pull it off, and yeah. It's going to be a lot of rinse and repeat to get set up on another planet. I might do an episode if I get sort of around to it, but I don't know, I think I'm kind of done with that for now until we get some more content to it. Some more bits and pieces and a little bit more polish. But it's really early access, that's pre-alpha. But it looks good though, it's been fun. Enjoyed the game. Had a good laugh with it. And that's what gaming is all about. Enjoying them. The only game I play at the minute that really winds me up at times is Ark. <laughs> but again, it's an alpha. So you've got to expect bugs. But I think I've said it before. That the game runs so well that when the bug pops up, you're not ready for it. You get the feel that it is finished. There's a lot of it's the way it's games are going now, they are playable in the alpha stages. But it used to be alpha stages, you'd have a certain thing to test. You'd do it, and then the game would be shut down, and you'd wait until the next bit popped up. And then they'd throw it at you again, test this. And you'd have those little bits, and you were looking actively for the bugs. But with Ark, you play the game, it sucks you in. And then sucker punches you. <laughs> That's the best way of saying it. Gives you a good left right hook. <laughs> and if you're having a real bad day, you get an uppercut too, and you're just on your back looking at stars. But it's, 
What drew me to it in the end was the dinosaurs rather than freaking zombies. Every survival game going seems to use bloody zombies. It's been done to death. It really has. I am sick of zombies. There's all these films that were coming out at the time. Zombies, zombies, zombies. How many different spins can you take on a zombie? Come on, give us something new. Ah, thank God for Star Wars. I haven't even seen Rogue One yet. I quite enjoyed it. I was not impressed. Ooh, yes, we're finished. Alpha H, that's got to be the plowman. Sweet. It looks pretty ploughed. We'll go for an inspection though. I don't think he can be trusted. It does look pretty good. We might have to do a tiny round the edges, but I think he's got that under control. Oh, we will do, because of that particular plough. It doesn't plough all the way to the edge. There is a mod out on Mod Host, I believe, where he's tweaked the AI settings, and that one does. And I have not acquired it. Or rather, I've not installed it. I wanted to know how we did it. I think I've got it figured out. It's uh, in the i3D, he's moved the points. So in the XML, there was an AI start, width, and height markers. I can't remember exactly how he'd moved them, though. But it worked. That's what matters. As long as it works. So we'll definitely have to go around the edge and tie the headlands, at least. And I believe that that particular one... It doesn't look from here like he's gone all the way to the edge. So there's at least another line to do at that side. Yeah. Minor problems. Oh dear. So he's a course break. Wonder which tree is stuck on. <laughs> it will be a tree, you watch. By the way guys, I'm gonna call it there. Thanks very much for watching. I'm gonna get these jobs done. Tomorrow we're we'll getting the truck. Well, I'll get these jobs done. Uh, animals should be alright. Should be. <laughs> and we're gonna take the pickup truck down to the shop. We're going to lease some toys and we're going to go and attack some trees. And I want to get the achievement for 50 trees and I'm currently at 14? 14, so what's that? 6 to 20, 36. I need 36 trees. So we'll go from there. Right, thanks so much. We'll catch you later.